we're back. back. <laughs> I'm Pastor Michael Franks. And I am First, First Lady, Lady Lily. Lily. <laughs> Amen. We're glad you joined us today. Yes. We're going to open with a word of prayer. And then First Lady is going to read our scripture for this for the day. Amen. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for thank this you. wonderful thank opportunity you, to share just a word of, of faith, a word of hope from your word. God, we thank you for thank you, giving us an opportunity. We thank you for those who are going to listen in. And then, God, we just want to thank you for being yes, so good to Hallelujah. us. Oh, God, you have made ways out of no, no ways way. for us. You have opened thank doors you. that we can't even believe. So we thank you, God. Yes, we give you praise, God. And we pray that something might be said that will allow someone else to trust you just a little more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful thing has happened to us. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about it more later. The scripture that he chose this week is Isaiah 43 and 19. Mm -hmm. In 18 and 19, it says, Remember ye not the former things, yeah. neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new, new thing. thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. And I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Wow. 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 God Wonderful is amazing. Word. Wonderful word. So uh, we know we have been. Uh, absent for a little while. Missing in action. Yeah. <laughs> but God has done so many wonderful things for us. So we just want to share with how God has blessed us. And uh, we're back and to our five minute devotional. But briefly, God has done, uh, given us a wonderful blessing. Yes. Uh, since we have last come together, God has allowed us, the uh, given us the opportunity to pastor uh the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church, 1905 Arlington Avenue. And so if you have an opportunity to come, come worship, with, worship us, with us, oh, we would family. love to see you. The New Salem family is a beautiful family. family. Yeah. So God has done a new thing even in our life. Yes. And even when we didn't expect it, we yes. didn't know it was going to happen. But God can make a way out of no, no way. way. Even when you are counted out. I'm telling you, if you trust God, God will yes, continue will. to do miraculous things for you. So yes. we have we have found uh, a family. Then though we had a great family, we're still part of the new uh, the friendly temple family. Amen, Pastor uh, Jones. Woohoo! Uh, that's our <laughs> family. Jones, but God is growing <laughs> us and letting us do yes. a new thing. Amen. And that's what He said in His Word, right? Yes. He said, "Look, don't." dwell on all the old things, all the old hurts, the old things that happen in your life. Yes. Don't worry. God is bigger than that. Yes, Don't let disappointment and discouragement yes. hold you back and hold you down. Don't even consider those things. Yes. What God wants you to know is that He can and He will do a new, new thing, thing in your life just like he did for us yes i like where you said at the beginning that the blessings will spring forth yeah. you know and when god blesses you no man can stop it yeah and it's just like the scripture says that he will shut the doors that no man can open and he will open the doors that no man can shut yeah and that's only god did we tell him what the title of this was yeah about? okay so here's the thing uh, I love this part. You, you brought this up. You talk about springing forth. Yes. When something springs forth on you, it, it just it, it just overcomes you, right? It, it comes upon you. You know, you yeah. really like it's unexpected. Amen. But we can always expect that God can bring unexpected things yes. in our life when the world gives you disappointment. Yeah. We can expect God to spring forth. You no know, new good things. You no know, yeah. new. A blessings, new joy, new happiness. And he said he can even do that when it seems like you're all by yourself in the wilderness. I found something and I wanted to read this. It says, how I long to know you better. Reveal yourself to me, Lord, in a new way. Hmm. 
as I quietly lay before you. Make yourself more real to me than anything on this earth. And I want a new relationship with the Lord. Yeah. I don't want an old relationship that I had because now I'm in a, a new area in my life that um, I want Him to be able to endow me more with His presence and His spirit and His love and yeah. joy so that I can do the things that's pleasing unto Him because it's all about Him. And I keep telling myself, it's not about me. I, if I wouldn't have chosen myself to do certain things. But when God chooses you, you want to do yeah, your best to yeah, please Him. Yeah. And so I thank God that He gave me you. Oh, I thank Him <laughs> that He blessed me with you and that we can do this uh, together. To do it together, this Amen. walk that He asked for us, that we walk together and we encourage one another. And that's what we want to encourage uh all of you out there today to remember that uh, Satan wants to keep you discouraged, yes. keep you feeling defeated, and have you to remember the old thing. But I'm here to tell you, we're behold. here to tell you, behold, look at here, God's got some wonderful <laughs> blessings for you. How and it will be a new blessing yes, because will. God's blessings are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. It's his faithfulness. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for uh, listening and tuning in. Let someone know that God wants to be good to you and he's ready to do a new thing for you. And thank you for encouraging us to keep going, especially those who have seen us out in public and wrote us little notes and everything that says we missed the five minute devotional. So we thank you for encouraging us to. Amen. And just know, we wasn't just sitting idle. God's been working, working in our lives. Working in our lives. <laughs> He's been blessing us. Remember, if you don't do anything on Sunday mornings at 10.30, 10 stop by the new Satan with me back to church. 1905. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Oh,